Okay. Um, look, my, my basic role in life, um, possibly the most important role in life, is to book rooms in this place for people. <laughs> to host events like this, um, so that's my major contribution, okay. Um, but each year that Richard and others have organized um, the, this event, um, different subjects have been examined and explored, and it's given us the opportunity really to challenge policies and challenge stereotypes and, well, talk about the future. Um, one of the areas, that obviously, where we've been able to, in terms of disability movement, where we've been able to have some significant breakthroughs is in the arts. Because the arts has been able to get a truth across in the way maybe other forms of communication haven't been truth effectively, effectively articulated. So that's why it's, it's so, I just think that's why the choice of the subject this year is so important. Um, but look, can I just say this, I and mean, I won't take up much more time because I'm working quite hard on the budget at the moment. <laughs> um, and that's the other thing, we're not very good at choosing the days. Um, <laughs> mind you, that was Philip Hammond's fault. But there's, a lot, there's a lot he's at fault for, but particularly this one, this clash. Um, look, the, reason, the reason we're working today is because the budget has been announced and there's been, um, we've been campaigning on universal credit for quite a while right the way across the PST pack, a whole range of groups as well. And we were hoping that maybe we would get some significant reform on universal credit. And one of the areas that we were particularly anxious and angry about really was that on the development of universal credit, the severe disability premium was cut completely. Yeah. And that's affected yeah. large numbers of people who lost maybe between 80 and 100 pounds a week. Uh, some, <coughs> of the most, some of the most challenged within our society and some of the most um, well, poor, to be honest. And today, what we got in the universal credit discussions in the budget um, was some alleviation, but not much. Basically, time loading people with more debt. So it still it still means that for every pound that the government put forward today, they're taking ten pounds off people, and the people they're hitting the hardest are disabled people. And what what benefits have done in the past? is supported disabled people to have some form of quality of life. And part of that actually has been to allow disabled people, like disabled artists, to flourish as well. And what we're seeing now is as a result of austerity and cut after cut now, including in this budget, is people being forced back into, well, back into their own homes, away from society, and sometimes out of their homes into residential care, so they can't fulfill their artistic ambitions and can't articulate their views about their society. And you know, sometimes we, sometimes I begin to think that's what they want, that's what this is all about, to prevent people standing up and articulating their views and participating in society in a way which would expose the way in which people with disabilities have been discriminated against over the years. So that's why I'm only here for a few fleeting moments because tomorrow morning I have to speak in the morning, I have to lay into the Tories. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know whether you saw the debate today, but Jeremy Corbyn, one of the mildest, kindest people I know, lost his rank. <laughs> and when it came to the discussion of social care, he was, he, he was being abused. He lost his rank because he wanted to say to the Tories, you do not live in the same world as us. You do not understand what people are going through as a result of austerity. And as a result of that, I think he displayed justifiable anger. Well, that's what all of us are now displaying. Because there seemed to be one target for the, um, the, the Tories that they thought would never speak up and never fight back, and that was disabled people. And that's why they've loaded so many cuts out of disabled people. Well, people are speaking back. They are fighting back. They are speaking up, and they're angry. And we're not going to tolerate this anymore. Now, whether we express that in our arts, whether we express that in our speech, in our drama, whatever, to be honest, I want to congratulate all those disabled people who participated and communicated way to get this message across because we will defeat them. We will defeat them.
cash rate for the organizers this event every year. It's successful, it's getting bigger and more successful every year as well. It, takes, it does take an awful lot of hard work. Yeah.